Whose sock is that? Is not your sock. Those are the girls, right? That's one of the girls. Yeah. I almost dropped the books. Oh, snipe. I left my lavender upstairs. I don't know what that goes to. <laughs> Why? Oh, shucks. The other pieces of vacuum's upstairs. Hello and come on in. My name is Brittany and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are doing a get it all done. We're gonna get most all of everything done. Not quite everything, but almost everything. And all the important stuff anyway. And to get started, we are just gonna go ahead and I am gonna get my diffuser going. This blend is called Farmer's Market for anyone who might wanna try it. And I'm gonna get me a sparkling water and we are gonna get this thing done. So whatever you need to do to get started, let's get that going and we can get things done. We are coming in on this video right after my morning routine. So let's get going. For today's to-do list, I have my list all wrote out on my notes app and we are going to get started with washing these curtains and the bedding. I needed to get the curtains from both the girls room and Wade's bedroom but I had recently washed the girls bedding so we don't need to tackle that today. We're just going to focus on Wade's bedroom. So pulling those sheets and then we'll head downstairs and get the laundry started. I am so excited to have you here today. I hope you all have had a great week and I hope that you've had a great weekend and I hope that you guys are all excited for a brand new week. Let me know in the comments what you've been up to. Now that we have laundry started, we're gonna move on to our next task, and that is decluttering Wade's dresser. Yes, it's decorated in stickers, and we like it that way. And that was McKenna's old backpack full of stuffed animals I've gotta put away later, but check the mess that's in here. We need to do some serious decluttering and organizing. I'm gonna check all of his sizes and get anything out that doesn't fit anymore. And yeah, so the kids have just kind of had their way with this dresser. That's why it's so disheveled and a mess. So we're just gonna get everything straightened back up. Most of the times the messes that are on top of this dresser are from me and uh, my fault. <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna get all of this cleared out of here. I tend to put a lot of miscellaneous junk on this dresser. I don't know why it just happens to be the spot that I go to. We got this little dresser secondhand at a yard sale when we first moved to this house and it's definitely been well loved and really it's just a glorified like plastic storage tote dresser type thing because it's very 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 lightweight and yes so I really didn't mind Wade decorating it all in his little stickers and even if it was the nicest dresser in the world I probably still wouldn't have minded. It got really bittersweet going through this dresser because I found a lot of Wade's baby things like his little bonnet here and some other little hats and little baby outfits that I had just never had the heart to take out of the dresser to put away. If you're new here, Wade is four and he's my last baby and it's just really getting hard to deal with sometimes because he's just grown so fast. But anyway, we are continuing on. I had a lot to go through in here, a whole lot of little bits and bobs. And so we have quite a few things that we end up decluttering that were too small. And then also some things that just need to be put away as keepsakes, like that sweet little elephant hat. Whose 
sock is, that is not your sock. That is the girls, right? That's one of the girls. Oh. Oh, you heard the girls too. Why? This one's yours. A dog burnt the sock. Watch your fingers. Now to return everything that we are keeping and then square away the rest where it needs to go. After today's video, I have just about gotten my house completely clutter free. There are still a few little nooks and crannies here and there that I need to tend to, but for the most part, it's, it's a lot more breathable in this house these days, y'all. So in the top drawer, I keep Wade's pajamas and his underwear and his socks. And then in the second drawer, I keep all of his bottoms, his shorts and his pants. And for all of his, his shirts, I hang those in his closet. And then the next drawer that we have is going to be sheets. And then the bottom one is baby blankets and even receiving blankets because yes, I've been hoarding those for years now. And here is everything we were able to declutter from that drawer. I have been stashing everything that I've been decluttering in my downstairs sunroom and I can't wait for the day that I just load it all up and haul it on out of here. We are almost through to that point and I am so excited for it. But a little unintentional bonus in this video, you guys might learn how to fold a fitted sheet. At least how I fold a fitted sheet, I should say. This is how I was taught. I think it was, it was on a talk show. I think it was actually on the chew, but I don't know. I might be wrong about that. But yes, these liners, they were a lot easier because the, the, the edges of them aren't real cinched. So they're really easy to just fold like real square. But I will show you a sheet that's like a regular fitted sheet in slow motion here in just a sec. Okay, so you're gonna wanna find two corners, whichever two corners, I usually like the, the shorter end corners. And then you're gonna take your other two corners and you're gonna turn them inside out and tuck them into the corners. So you're gonna match these seams together here on each side. Taking the inside out corner and sticking it underneath the outside out corner. And so basically we are just taking half of the sheet and tucking it into the other half of the sheet. Now that you have those two corners together, you are going to take one side of those two corners and do the same thing. You're going to flip it upside down and tuck it into the other side with the two corners. This is really hard to explain, but hopefully seeing it helps as well. Then you're going to straighten it out, make sure that everything's lying together the way that it should be. And now you have your shape and we are going to fold from this point. We are going to fold one side in and then the other and then fold it in half and that's it. Nice folded fitted sheet. And now this last drawer, this is where I'm hiding all of my receiving blankets as well as Wade's little baby blankets. And I am keeping every last one of these receiving blankets. I don't care. I will find a place for it. I am keeping them. I also kept the girls because these blankets once held my sweet little babe when they were so little. And yes, I, I can be attached. It's all right.
another task completed and another tick on our little checklist. And we have a nice decluttered dresser ready for fresh laundry that I will have to bring in here later on. I wanted to keep this week's video pretty lax because I've needed my life to kind of slow down a little bit because not gonna lie you guys, I like to keep this place a place of positivity and a place where you can escape reality because just keeping up with the news is enough to make you super depressed. But life is handing it to me right now and it's gonna be okay at some point, but it's not right now. <laughs> and um yeah i just i definitely needed to keep things at a slower pace but we are going to do a quick little tidy up here in wade's bedroom and wipe down his bookshelf and give it a good vacuum in here so you will have yourself a good little dose of cleaning motivation. We have still been doing projects around the house. And as you can see, the stair railing is laying in the middle of the floor in here. And that's where it's going to be because convenience. Okay. Things are happening. Things are getting done around here. And I will show you guys a sneak peek of what's going on with the stairs here shortly. And yeah. So I hope that you guys enjoy this little bit of cleaning motivation and also to anyone else out there just going through the ringer right now. That's definitely how I've been feeling like I'm just been completely wrung out and thrown to the side to dry. I feel you and I'm sending you virtual hugs and I just hope that each day gets a little bit better. This closet here is definitely still something that I need to declutter and organize. Really just kind of make sure it's straightened up and make sure that I'm not keeping anything that I don't need anymore. It's not really a huge project. I am kind of putting it off. We will get to it, but for now, we are just gonna continue on with this tidying and what we plan on getting done today. It really, really helps to plan your days out, guys. Like, I know it's like, Oh, well, duh, but <laughs> when I don't do it, my life, it just kind of falls apart. And when I do do it, I can get caught up again. So it definitely helps to keep track of what you want to get done in a day. But adding this old light fixture to our declutter pile hauled that downstairs. And now we are going to wipe down this bookshelf. I had no idea it was so dusty. I don't know if it's because of the little bit of kind of construction that's going on like the sanding and stuff there's definitely been a film of dust on like the downstairs and stuff but i haven't really noticed it into the bedroom until now and i think maybe it's a little bit of neglect and a little bit of that dust but either way we are taking care of it now and you will never know that it was there Wade's commentary is just the best. He is like my little hype man all day. I love him to death.
Now here's all that dust I was telling y'all about. I didn't notice it on those first two, but this one was bad. Time to change over this laundry. I'm going to hang the curtains outside and put everything else in the dryer because it was definitely nice enough to let them air dry. Oh, Schneid, I left my lavender upstairs. I kept on leaving things upstairs and sometimes y'all upstairs is just a thousand miles away, but I'm definitely getting better about it and making my runs up there when I need to. Like, especially, I will make the excuse that my makeup and stuff is just too far away to go do my makeup. So I am definitely doing better about holding myself accountable about just going up the darn stairs and doing what I need to do. We are back from school pickup and while I was gone, I let my battery charge for my vacuum because it was dead and so I knew I was going to need it and it was a good little break to give me time to get that charged up. I had just cleaned the bunny the night before and so the bedding, it always ends up outside of the cage and it's just a mess and the easiest way I've learned to handle it is just to pick it up with my hands as best as I can because the stuff will clog a vacuum like nobody's business. So I just pick up as much as I can. It's definitely a little bit on the tedious side, but you get used to it. And so now we are just gonna go around and get this floor all vacuumed up. And by then our bedding should be good and dry and our curtains as well, so we can hang them up and put the bed back together. I did end up putting the curtains in the dryer for just a spin when I checked on the bedding to see if it was dry and so we will be bringing those up next. I mentioned this I think in my very last video, but I love when a cleaning day or a, a productive day comes full circle. Like we have this bedroom all nice and clean and now we have clean curtains and clean bedding. And oh, 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 then we will have clean laundry to put away in the clean dresser later. How, how nice. Don't you just love that? Am I the only one who is that giddy about it? Just for a bit of added transparency, Wade does not sleep in this room yet, but we, we, he plays in it, he gets dressed in it, he watches TV in it, but he sleeps with mom. So yeah, we are working on getting in here and we actually ended up hanging out in here on this evening and watching TV together. So that was fun. Now moving on to our next task, we are down in the playroom and this here is known as the device table. And I need to declutter the device drawer and we have some tools and things laying around but they're gonna stay because we have this project going on. You guys may not remember but these had carpet on them. And of course, 
it turned into a much bigger project than just ripping off the carpet and painting and you know new stairs so yeah it's a work in progress but it's come along a very long way and Michael's worked his butt off on it and he's done a great job so this is the other junk drawer in the house this one is for the electronic junk usually anything that's kid related is usually in here we've got handcuffs we've got walkie talkies we've got the Pictionary air game we've got all kinds of chargers we've got uh, the the plugs for the USB the outlet plugs things we've got all kinds of stuff so I have definitely been putting this one off for way too long and today is the day we are going through it we are getting all the junk out of here we've even got some like broken toy pieces and I don't know where they go so yeah we're gonna get this done I don't know what that goes to we have the girls hoverboard chargers in here and so I'm going to wind up those wires and tie them with a bread tie to make them a little bit neater and yeah the hardest part of this is all the stuff that I don't know what it is or where it goes that is the hardest part for me with decluttering is actually getting rid of the stuff that you don't know what to do with it and you're scared to death that if you throw it away you're gonna need it in the future and that is it that is the hurdle that you have to get over and I have a few of these other things that I don't know what they are or where they go and I've got to talk to Michael about them so he can tell me if we need to keep them or if I can finally throw them away and be done and be rid of them Why? <laughs> I have no idea what this stuff is. All right, this I know where that came from. This I know where that goes. Y'all see what I'm saying? The struggle is real. The struggle is real. <laughs> It's honestly amazing how much stuff was in that little drawer and I don't know why I'm I'm always surprised. I am always surprised like when I find a drawer can hold so much. Wing. Oh shucks. The other piece of the vacuum's upstairs. I was feeling very much in character on this day. I don't know what character, but it was a character of some kind. And now we are just gonna get this drawer vacuumed out and we are gonna reassemble it. And another thing we can tick off of our list. I put only the things that we have come to know and love to be in this drawer back into this drawer. And there will also be some other things added into this drawer and it will get all a mess again. But for now, she's under control. I forgot to mention the reason this is called a device table is because it's usually where things are being charged. It's where I try to have things be charged. Like that was to Wade's tablet, that charger that I just put away there. But ain't she beautiful? But now moving on, it's time to cook dinner and tonight's dinner is million dollar chicken. We're going to preheat our oven to 350 degrees. We're going to add in our softened cream cheese, mayo, bacon bits, ranch dressing in lieu of green onion, and some sharp cheddar cheese in my case. I will leave this recipe linked below. I got it on Pinterest as always, don't you know? And I always end up using ranch dressing in lieu of green onions because I never have green onions for whatever reason. But we're gonna mix together that cream cheese, bacon, and cheese, and then we're gonna add our chicken into a baking pan and spread our cream cheese mixture over top 
top and you are supposed to top this with cheese again before you put it in the oven but your girl forgot until about five or ten minutes into it cooking and then I'm gonna add it back on later this is one of my favorite chicken dishes and one of my favorite meals that I make on the reg Anytime I have leftover bacon or I make a preparation to have bacon cooked for breakfast so that we can make this, that's how it usually ends up working out. We're gonna bake this for 30 to 40 minutes and I had a smaller portion I was making, so 30 minutes was good. And now we're gonna put that cheese on top that we were supposed to put on at the beginning. But y'all ain't gonna do that, are you? You guys won't forget. Now that we got dinner going, I'm gonna take a few minutes and go ahead and give this bathroom a quick little tidy. I just wanna wipe down the mirror, the counter, and clean the toilet. This is our main level bathroom and pretty much the kids bathroom and so I like to do a maintenance clean in here quite regularly more so than I do in the upstairs bathroom because kids and life. <laughs> My camera battery died on me right here, but I did finish up cleaning the sink and now we're moving on to this toilet. Getting her all cleaned up and shined up and fresh smelling again.
I did get other things going to go with our dinner for this evening throughout while I was tidying up in that bathroom. But now our chicken is done and we are gonna have some dinner and then we will check that off of our list and come back with what was supposed to be the evening routine. So I have two loads of laundry to fold and now it is time for my guilty pleasure. The one time that I watch something for pure entertainment, we've got two broke girls. That is my go-to right now. And I absolutely love this show. You guys have to tell me if you've ever watched it. So for my evening routine, I am supposed to fold my laundry and I'm supposed to clean up the kitchen. And the laundry did get folded, but the kitchen, she did not get cleaned. And that's okay because guess what? The mess was waiting for me the next morning. But that does bring us to the end of today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and that you got the motivation to get the things done that you need to do. And I really, really appreciate you coming over and hanging out with me today. Thank you. Thank you so much. I hope that you will like this video and subscribe so that I can see you next time. And until then, take such good care of you. Bye.